Hi, we are Eric and Sarah Schroeder. And as we've been thinking a little bit about uh, what we were going to say in this video, I realized that I'm kind of like that kid on a long car trip. I'm just this point of, are we there yet? Are we done with this? Can life return to normal? Uh, and as I thought about that a little bit, I realized that I am just kind of in survival mode. I'm just kind of trying to get through this rather than being intentional with this time and, and taking this time as a chance to grow as a family, as a chance to reach out to my neighbors in new and creative ways. So we thought we would just take these few minutes to share uh, some of the things we are doing uh, and then some of the things that I'm hoping we will do in the future and that we can encourage you guys to do as well. So Sarah, why don't you share some of the things that we've been doing as a family lately? Yeah, so the past couple of years, um, I've been picking a word for the year, and last year and this year, my word was intentional because um, it really helped last year, and so I decided to do it again for this year, not knowing, of course, in January what was going to come in March, um, but it's one of those things that just taking each moment that you're given and making the most of it... Um, the Bible says to to um, redeem the time that you're given, and I sometimes I can let lose time. So one of the things that um, has always been really important to our family, especially around Easter, is to just kind of take the week um, before Easter or the couple of days before or the, the couple of weeks before Easter, and just kind of meditate on. Um, that um, usually we've done the resurrection eggs with the boys since they were really little, but they're getting a little bit older. And so we decided to use um, a different resource that we got um, on Amazon with the garden, the curtain, and the cross, which is a great book. You should check it out. And if you have two-day free shipping, you can get it before Easter. Um, but they had an Easter calendar, which is like an Advent calendar. And so we've been going through that with the boys um, for the past couple of um, since last Thursday. And um, we've been having great conversations. The boys have had lots of questions as usual, but um, it's but we don't have anything else going on so we can answer them. And so that's been really great to be intentional with answering those deep questions that a 10 and almost eight year old have. Um, we've also just been like when we run into our neighbors, um, we stay on our side of the fence and <laughs> wave and talk and just check in on them and that's been really special to just even over the fence to just be able to communicate with others that we're not alone um and just the just trying to make the most of the time that god has given us i think as far as things that i'd like to see us do better is i'm realizing that while i need to be a little more intentional um is being very intentional with this family time um, I'm working from home right now, teaching from home. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to have kind of a window on my kids uh, in ways I don't normally. Um, I, I, jokingly, I, jo I jokingly said that I'm, I'm spying on their classroom and I come down and watch them as they're interacting online with their teacher. Um, but just taking that opportunity to kind of uh, be able to build into my family and to be intentional with that and really recognize that this is kind of a gift in a way uh, to be able to have that opportunity. Uh, and then as I think of, of Easter Sunday coming up and the fact that often when we think of Easter Sunday, we think of it as a time when uh, we will celebrate as, as a church family, but then also as a time when we have a lot of new faces with us who aren't normally with us. That's going to look a little different this year, um, but that's not an all bad thing because I really think that there are people who will come to an online service, who will watch, watch over the internet that might be intimidated by the idea of actually stepping into a church building. And so I think it's all the more important to take this opportunity, uh, even though it's a little challenging to do so, uh, to invite neighbors, to invite those who maybe aren't part of a church family, uh, to participate virtually with us on, on Easter Sunday morning and be able to hear the gospel preached um, because they're more likely to respond in many ways than they, than they might be uh, if they had to face kind of that intimidation factor of actually coming into a church building. So those are a couple of ways that I've been challenged to be more intentional in this time to not just survive, uh, but to, to make the most of it and, and make it into something that in some ways we can be more effective in, in, in gospel purposes than we could if this wasn't all going on. So hopefully you'll find that challenging, something that, that you can kind of embrace for your family as well. Yeah, and we're praying that you um, can also be um, 
just know that we're praying for you to be intentional with this time as well. And um, that it is hard. This is not an easy time. And that um, we are here with you, uh, struggling with you and have <laughs> high times and low times. Um, but know that you are in our thoughts and prayers as well. And we miss you and we look forward to when we can all get together again soon. Bye.